Hello, and welcome to another episode of Momentum. I'm your host, Philip Allison. Our guest today is Asishana Amunega Ajayi, a senior majoring in aerospace engineering. Asishana, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Um, well, we'll just jump right into it. You are an international student from Nigeria, um, and you are from, I believe, Abuja, which is the capital city in Nigeria, which is like six million people, <laughs> which is quite a bit larger than the state of Mississippi. Um, what was your first experience like um, when you came to the States? I uh, initially went from Nigeria to France, then from France to Atlanta. I think Hartsfield Jackson is the like airport there. So I was kind of like, okay, yeah, this is, you know, this is what like I expected America to like, look like and stuff, and the movies and all of that. Then from Atlanta, I took a flight to GTR, which is like the airport uh, in Starkville in Columbus. And when I got on the plane, it was kind of like, it was very, very small. So I'm a pretty tall person and my head was kind of like touching the roof of the plane and stuff. So I was kind of iffy about it at first. Um, but I finally made it here and stuff. This The International Institute actually sent someone to pick me and my mom up because the first time I came, I came here with my my mom and i fell asleep in the car and i woke up like mid journey and stuff and all i could see were just like cows and grass and i was like uh, i don't know about this <laughs> all up all up until i like got to the actual university then you know like more people and stuff like that and the buildings were like larger so it's kind of like okay yeah. So, but again, going from city of six million to Starkville, which is twenty five thousand, um, I'm I'm sure the culture shock was a little bit to to adjust to at first. Yeah, it definitely was. Uh, the culture is a bit different. The food is definitely different. Uh, you all have fried okra here. We don't we don't do that in Nigeria. We like cook like a soup and stuff. But uh, it took a lot of like um, getting used to and like yeah, acclimated to. Yeah. Um, and, and I guess what are some of the other kind of kind of differences? Have you found that the people have been welcoming since you've been here? Yeah, there is uh, there is like the whole like Southern hospitality and stuff, which I sincerely like appreciate and I'm grateful for. But um, also, I've realized that there's not a lot of uh, there's not a lot of people that know about like African culture and stuff. Uh, then make a lot of conclusions or jump to a lot of conclusions based on like uh, what they see, like the for one dollar a day advert and all of that stuff. That's not necessarily how like Africa is, and I notice that a lot of people tend to say Africa rather than like the country in Africa. So, take for instance, some people say I'm coming to, um, I'm going to London or something. Well, they'll relate that the same way as saying I'm going to Africa. It's not the same. So Africa is a continent while Nigeria is a country in Africa. So just like the the knowledge that people have on like African culture and stuff is a bit skewed. Uh, and I feel like it's due to like the representation on TV and stuff. I keep telling people that the same way you all have like uh, urban places here, same thing in African countries, same places, same way you guys have rural areas here, same way like we do in African countries. Yeah, um, you mentioned the food. Uh, have you kind of, kind of learned about American food? And is there something that's really just kind of jumped out at you a little bit since you've been here? So, yeah, I really like uh, soul food, and like for, if you really know me, my favorite like restaurant here is Popeyes. Uh, the way we like fry our own chicken and Nigerian stuff is really different. I think you guys use like breadcrumbs and stuff like that, but we don't really and like the seasoning and stuff. So uh, at first it got a lot of like, uh, it took a lot of like getting used to, to really um, like learn to appreciate like the food and stuff like that here. But right now I think I'm, I've, I've gotten there. Yeah, well I, I can't blame you for liking Popeyes, it's pretty good. Um, I guess coming over as an international student, um, and this is kind of a broad question, but what are some of the challenges that you faced? So, um, when I first got here, my accent was a lot more thicker and stuff. But now after um, being here for a while, it's I've learned to slow down the pace I talk. 
so uh, more Americans can understand me. So that was a challenge at first, especially like when you're calling, like calling a call center or something over the phone. It was very difficult for them to understand me, and I used to get like frustrated and stuff. So that was a big uh, difference. The another thing I can say is the food. We've talked about the food, the culture as well. So in my culture, shaking people, uh, sh- shaking people older than you with your left hand is seen as disrespectful. Uh, there's something called the ballet. So we prostrate to greet our parents and stuff like that, or just like meal or something like that, which is kind of, it's a lot different here. We don't necessarily call people older than us by their first name and stuff, um, rather like uncle this or Mr. Doctor or something like that. But here is a bit, uh, they're a bit more lenient about stuff like that. So. Take, for instance, like shaking uh, someone with your left hand. It's not something that most people would think about, but in my culture, it's seen as disrespectful and stuff. So just like learning that I am no longer in Nigeria and learning uh, American culture and the way things are done here was took a lot of getting used to. Yeah. Well, when you talk to uh, people around Starkville and on campus about the differences uh, between American and Nigerian culture, um, have people generally been receptive to, to kind of what you've told them, especially if they don't know much about Nigeria? Uh, it depends on the person. You can tell when someone is genuinely um, inquisitive, like they really want to know about your culture and you can tell when someone's being ignorant and disrespectful. So I've met uh, both sets of people, or both kinds of people. I've met people who really want to like understand the African culture and stuff. And I've met people who think it's funny and stuff. So generally I've figured out after like uh, years of being here that it's better to educate than to hate. So if I'm genuinely explaining my culture to you, most of the time they're receptive and then again i'm six five and very intimidated so it's kind of hard not to be receptive yeah i would imagine that that would help a little bit um so let's talk a little bit about your decision to come to mississippi state and specifically to study aerospace engineering is that something that you kind of always wanted to study so i have a few reasons for doing uh aerospace engineering i'll just go down like list all of them so when i was younger I had a group of friends and we wanted to like, oh, do aeronautical engineer. But well, none of them really like stuck with it. And I'm a very like headstrong and stubborn person. So I stuck with it and decided that this is what I wanted to do. I've always wanted to like join the Air Forces and stuff. So my parents also thought it was a good idea to like learn about the uh, airplanes I would want to fly and stuff if I do join the Air Force. And my last reason was I had a cousin he was part of the Nigerian army and he was sent to Sambisa Forest, which is, uh, I don't know if you know much about Boko Haram and stuff, but they're like a subsect of ISIS and they were like terrorizing Nigeria for a while and stuff. So he got sent to uh, Sambisa Forest and he got killed. And I felt like if the army had used like UAV technology or sent like an MQ-9 Reaper or MQ-1 Predator or something, they wouldn't have needed to send like infantry soldiers into their stronghold. Yeah. Um, is that kind of what you want to kind of work with is, is unmanned vehicles or do you have kind of some other interests with, within aerospace? Yeah. So my senior seminar currently is uh, UAV as, UAVs as a defensive technology. So I'm focusing more on like uh, unmanned air vehicles and systems and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, well, in addition to your classwork, um, and your transition to school here in the States, um, I guess, have you been involved with any student groups and has that helped your transition at all? Yes, I've been involved with a lot of student groups, to be honest. And I would advise every student and like international student to get involved because one, it doesn't just help your like resume or your skills and stuff. You also get to like meet a bunch of like cool people from different like backgrounds and stuff. So uh, starting off, I became a resident advisor. Then I st- I've been working with housing for a couple of years now. So I've been a senior resident advisor and um, I've been a conference assistant and I'm currently a community assistant. Um, I 
one of the first student organizations I was also part of was the National Society of Black Engineers. That really helped me in like the engineering field because you don't necessarily see a lot of minorities in engineer, especially aerospace engineer. I think in my class now, like my graduating class, there are four, four minority, like four black students that I know of. And I don't think there are any females, uh, any female minority students in my class. So seeing other people that look like you in the same, um, in the same major tends to like motivate you like okay if he can do it and he kind of looks like me i can do it too so uh national Cell of black engineering really helped me so uh short forms um i was also a part of involvement ambassador i joined isab international student advisory board i was the vice president of the african student association at some point uh we also hosted african night so we just we did a program that like uh, uh, basically expose people to our culture. And I believe we're going to do another one recently on the 30th or 31st, sometime next week, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I can get the actual date later on. But I've, I was a part of that. I'm still currently a part of the African Student Association. Uh, I pledged a fraternity. I became the president of Bachelors of the Theta Delta Delta chapter of Omega Sci Fi Fraternity Incorporated. I am currently the second vice state rep for uh, the fraternity. So basically, I am over the undergraduate chapters in Mississippi. Um, and those are some of the involvements I can think of, like off the top of my head currently. Yeah, that's, that sounds quite a lot. And uh, I would assume it has helped kind of ease your transition to, to school and, and to life in the States. Um, let's talk a little bit beyond school. I understand that you went uh, skydiving recently. How was that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's scary. I'm not even gonna lie. It was, I went, uh, I think it was in Coleman, Alabama. The people are the like instructors and instructors and stuff are very cool people down to earth. So I just wanted to like do something. I've always wanted to like go skydiving and stuff. And I, you know, I'm fascinated with like, with, like airplanes and stuff like that. So why not jump on one? So I went skydiving and I think it was from 14,000 feet uh, the scariest parts where, um, so they give you like a whole spew of why you shouldn't be doing it. You like literally watch a video telling you not to do it. Uh, then down there, they like give you a whole pep talk saying, um, in the airplane, no sounds like go. So if you say no, 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 it sounds like go, go, go. And you pretty much once you're there, you're there. So like you, you gotta jump. So that sounds great. Uh, well, unfortunately, uh, we are out of time, and it has been great to have you on the, the show, Asashana. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember, you can keep up with all the news from the Bagley College of Engineering at bagley.msstate.edu. Thanks for watching.